Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. I'm Sully Pones, and today, hopefully, we're going to be doing some more progress here in this forest of berries, melons, shy guys, and ninja cats. I actually just finished doing a little bit of training because a lot of you guys were telling me in the last episode that there was going to be a boss battle that's going to happen soon that I'm not going to like. So I actually trained them up by one level. Um, training is hard in this game, I'm not going to lie. It's very time consuming and the enemies prove to be a lot more difficult than they actually look. So I think I'm going to do some more training at the end of this episode. Hopefully um, we don't initiate any boss battles because that would really stink. I'm not prepared for one by any means right now. So I'm going to hopefully refrain from doing anything crazy today. But but anyways, this is the new part that we accessed now. Uh, that Wiggler cleared it out, thankfully. Uh, it doesn't look like Kamek's leaving any more shapes. Or maybe he is. I don't know. But uh, what is this? There's a lot of enemies that I could tell that are here. It kind of makes me nervous, I'm not going to lie. Just because when I see all of these enemies, I assume instantly I have to beat them. Well, I don't have to do anything. But I feel like I should beat them just to prepare for the boss battle. Otherwise, they wouldn't put so many enemies here. Because, I mean, obviously, they want you to get EXP points and battle them. Whoa, what is going on here? Is that a gate? That is a gate of... An electric gate. Wow, I guess Kamek was really intimidated by us. Wiggler can only do so much, even on a full belly. Aw. Well, what are we to do now? What's the matter? This gate is too zippy zappy. Couldn't you tell, Starlo? You're supposed to be a star spirit, man. Or girl. You're supposed to be a star spirit woman. Hmm, it appears to have running electricity through it. Yeah, of course. Better not get too close. Getting shocked would not be fun. I've actually been shocked. Surprisingly, like I've genuinely legitimately been Brrr! That doesn't make any sense, but one time I was at a theme park. It was overseas. It was actually in uh, I think it was in the I think it was in NMR. I don't remember honestly. I was like nine years old. Okay I was overseas. We were on a family vacation in the summer and I was riding bumper cars and while the bumper cars were on I actually started walking on the track and that was really bad because I guess it sent a surge of electricity to my body. So as we exited the theme park, there was a, uh, a street light and I just walked past it and I literally just started getting zapped. And I lost control of my entire body, my thoughts and everything. And I just remember waking up and my dad and like the paramedics were all around me and they're like, whoa, are you OK? And I'm like, what just happened, dude? And I started freaking out because I didn't know what happened, but it was a freaking scary experience. I just remember when I was being zapped. All I could see was just yellow. Like, that's all I saw. And I stopped hearing, stopped thinking, stopped... Everything stopped. All I could just see was yellow, and it was weird. I don't know, but I, I woke up after, and I'm fine. And it scares me to ride bumper cars or rock next to street pools till today, because I'm scared I'm always going to get zapped. But, yeah, electricity is not good. That's the moral story. What is it, Wiggler? That bomb bud over there could be just the thing we need. What is a bomb bud? Oh, one of those. It looks like the bombs from Zelda, but they're not. They're definitely not, actually, because I don't think they have, like, little leaves growing out of their heads. Yeah, it's very explosive. If you chuck it, it'll blow up after a show while. They have leaves, but they don't have, like, leaves coming out of the head, if that makes sense. Or maybe they do. It's, like, more of a crown than anything. Nature is full of danger. That is true. Sometimes when you're in the forest and you get hungry... And you see mushrooms, you can't actually eat them. Same for berries, because most of them can be poisoned. We need to pass this gate. If that bomb bud will help us do it, then we'll have to take this risk. All right, and by us, I mean me, Mario, and Paper Mario. Me, Mario, and Paper Mario. What about Luigi, dude? Luigi's taking a big risk as well. I don't know how I knew that would happen. I just It kind of looked like something. Oh, Nabbit, what up, dude? It's been a minute, man. It's time for me to get some stuff back, am I right? It's him. Grab him, and he's obviously going to make his way across the lake. We can't swim. Why can't we swim? Why can't Mario and Luigi swim? That would be cool if they could make him swim in an RPG game. They make it. They make Link swim in Zelda games, so why can't they make Mario swim? That doesn't make sense. Pretty sure this guy can swim. He came out of Super Mario 64 looking like Michael Phelps. Okay, give me this. I think what we're supposed to do is grab the ball bomb. Right, 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 right. And then, woo, chuck it at you. Suck on that. What do you think of that, little dude? Um, I don't know if we're going to get an item or not. It's 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 not like making me do the same thing I did last time when we found Nabbit and Chase him. The only thing it's doing is just, okay, so, whoa, wait a second. That's the bomb deer buy from uh, Dream Team. That's the same bro attack, I think. You got a new bro attack, the bomb deer buy. Heck yeah. That was a very nice bro attack. 
in Mario and Luigi Dream Team. It was very efficient, too. Like, it actually did some damage. Nice work with that bomb, bud, guys. Now let's work on getting past that gate. All right, let me actually check it out. I want to make sure if it's the same move. I'm, I definitely know it's going to be the same move, but me being the person I am, I just want to check it out. Okay, so guide, battle, attacks, go all the way to the bottom. There it is, bomb, deer, by slide right on the circle path to throw a bomb, and then press A to hit it towards an enemy. Yep, this is exactly how it was in Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Oh, man, throwback, dude. This is amazing. All right, watch. Boom, ah, boom, ah. And then you can, you can do it, like, really fast, too. I've never been able to do it really fast. I've only ever done it once, and I remember when I did it in the video, it was, like, the most amazing thing I've ever done in my life. I was, like, so proud of myself that I actually did it. But I, I, with practice, I'm pretty sure I can easily do it. And I'll make it look like nothing, too. So I'll look forward to that maybe sometime. But anyways, we got some business to attend to, and that is help your boy Wiggla out because, you know, he's trying to get some... Uh, I guess fruit. What is he trying to do exactly? Is he really just trying to protect the forest? Because if that's the case, then man, I do feel bad for Wiggler. He's a guy that just wants to live in peace. He has anger problems. He knows it, which is why he isolates himself. But at the same time, people go looking for trouble with him. And all he wants is just to be a happy little Wiggler eating melons. You unzapped the gate. Yay! I'm sure those baddies left even more trash up ahead. Wiggler is going ahead to clean up the rest of the forest. You do that, man. We're going to follow you shortly once you clean up more of the forest. Maybe. I actually still have to explore this area. There's a lot. No more camping out in Wiggler's forest, pesky trash. Shoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Wow, Wiggler really got the thing done. Wow, really, really... Wow, Wiggler really gets thing... Wow, Wiggler... Wow, Wiggler really got things done. And all it took was a mountain of fruit and some bombs. Yeah. That's all it is. Next time you have some fruit and bombs and you're trying to get something done... Just give it to your nearest Wiggler, man. Give it to a, a, literally a caterpillar, and they'll come out and, and make your life easier. Okay, Shy Guy, we're going to avoid you for now. I actually didn't battle any of the Shy Guys in the last episode, even though they are new enemies. So I think I'm going to battle some today. But I'm going to wait just because I want to see if there's any more enemies in this area that I uh, haven't battled that are new enemies. So I can just put them all in, like, the end of the video or something. But right now, what I'm doing is I'm just, you know... Collecting some stuff seeing what's here in the area most of it's actually coins, which is not bad. Oh god No, stay away from me, dude. Stay away. Okay. Oh god. Oh, man. So close dude. So freaking close Thank goodness that little dude didn't battle me because that would have sucked um, And the only, only reason it would have sucked was just because I really am not looking to battle anybody right now However, I will go back and battle them all on my own time. Ooh, that was close Oh, man, that was very close. I'm cutting it close right there next to those guys. All right, I think we're good. Um, everything else, actually, no, we're not. We can't leave just yet. There's this little part that I haven't explored taking me back to this area that I couldn't actually jump up on. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the same thing for the next area. Because remember, there was an area in the last episode that I couldn't access. Maybe you don't remember, but there was an area in the last episode that I couldn't access. And I'm pretty sure that one of these paths here is going to give us access to it. So, I'm excited. Oh my goodness. Look at all those PD piranhas, dude. They are not kidding around when they put them here. They really want us to battle. Oh man. This is going to be a ton of EXP. I'm actually excited for this. Like... Maybe in the next episode. I don't want to like get you guys' hopes up, but I could have a new level rank up. Maybe. Because if I'm going to start grinding, dude, I'm going to go hard. I'm not going to just do this easy. I'm going to go in. Oh, fellows. What's up, Wiggler? Over here. Oh, man. Another one, but this time with two. Look at this. The zippy zappy gate is even bigger than the one from before. Wiggler can't get past it. Why do you talk yourself in third person, man? Stop doing that. I've always wanted to do that, though. I'm not going to lie. That would be, like, so cool to talk to yourself. Or talk to talk about yourself in third person. Okay, and now that we're here, I guess we can grab some coins. I think I actually might need to kill this shy guy because he seems like he's going to come in the way. So, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first battle against a shy guy. If I did one in the last episode, then call me stupid because I forgot. Uh-oh, what's he doing? Boom, sucker! Eat th what? That actually one-hit KO'd them. Amazing. Can you do that as well, please? What are they doing now? Oh, God. Woohoo! All right. Nice and clean. Avoided that shy guy attack. Um, so, I guess the best way to go about killing them would be red shells. You can't do any jump attacks on them, considering their spears are facing upwards. Meaning, if you do hit them by accident, or I guess intentionally, then 
Uh, you'll take some damage, which is not good, but nonetheless. Boom, sucker! Eat my Shy Guy poop on my shoes from my Koopa shell. Nice. All right, Paper Mario. Let's go ahead and attack this Shy Guy using Hammer Attack. Attack! Boom! Good job, Paper Mario. Retreat! And let Mario and Luigi do their thing. Imagine if you commanded Mario and Luigi like Pokemon. That would be very interesting. I don't know if it would change the game's... Uh, I, I actually, it would. It would definitely change it. It would make it a lot different. Technically, we do command them like Pokemon, though. We, we do, actually. Instead of doing the move, though, we we just wait it out. Oh, God. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? I can make it. Oh, man. Boom. Good thing these bombs do not explode in the air. Otherwise, I would have probably not made that one. Uh, and look at this. This is the same black ink. I want to say it's I'm going to say it's ink. Black ink. Not from squids or anything like that. I don't know what it's from, actually. It could be Shy Guy feces. I would honestly be surprised if it were Shy Guy feces. I would be like, okay, that's cool. Um, oh, geez. Maybe this is not the bomb that I'm supposed to use for this segment. Maybe one of the bombs that I need will be over here. Maybe. Okay, yeah. I I'm pretty sure. Yep, there it is. I see it. I can see you from the corner of my eye. Let me grab some of these coins as well while I'm here. Ooh, grab the coins! There we go. Good job, Mario and gang. You guys are know how to get rich. They're getting nice and filthy rich right now by collecting all these coins. Alright, so I'm assuming we're going to have to grab this bomb and then obviously walk with it this way. Now there's two of these trampoline posts. I'm going to take this one because it looks like it takes me higher and oh my god! Oh god! We barely made that one. Holy crap. Whew, that was close, man. We almost screwed it up, but thankfully I came through. Thanks for taking care of that zippy zappy gate. You guys have a real knack for this kind of or for this sort of thing. I'm going to make sure that there isn't any more trash left up ahead. Bye now. See you later, Wiggler. We need to get going too. I'm sure Mount Burt is straight ahead. Alright, let's follow the boy Wiggler. Actually, let me battle one of these piggy piranhas. Uh, or rather, piranha plants, because this guy doesn't have legs. Come here, piranha plant. Let me show you how it's like to get your butt kicked. All right. <clears throat> so, let's see what kind of attacks they have. Ooh, God. Boom, sucker. Eat my hammer, which he didn't. I actually ended up getting a nice mouthful of his mouth. That's amazing. Nice, dude. You guys taste like flowers. It's actually pretty nice. All right, so I will use this because I really don't like you guys, and I want you to feel the wrath of my rocket ship. Let's go on a trip in your favor. Okay, oh my god. Oh, wait. Oop, boom, and flippity flop. 360 spin. Boom, sucker. There we go. I'm sorry, guys. I always do that every time I land a hit. I should stop. I should stop. Okay. Um, what else do we have that we can use? I guess I'll use use hammers. Um, I'm assuming you can jump on these guys without them wanting to bite you or anything. And hammer attacks also work. I was actually kind of thinking that if I attempted to attack them with a hammer, that they would just bite me. If I were a PD piranha plant, I would actually do that. Or rather, a piranha plant, not a PD piranha plant. PD is the name of the. Uh... Oh God! What are you doing, dude? What are you doing, man? Really? Why did he do that? Why are they all attacking Mario? I mean, this attack happened on Mario like three times so far. Can you guys attack someone else besides Mario? Like maybe Luigi or Paper Mario? Someone who I can actually see their angles from? Unlike Mario? Okay, how is he not dead yet? We've been attacking all of them at once, right? There we go, finally. And he is dead. This goes to show you that I really do need to grind. Because if I'm not like one-shotting enemies now, then I need to grind because I remember unless they made the game harder which I don't see why they would because so far it's been pretty easy granted the bosses have given me some trouble but that's probably because I've never played the game oh my god Kamek what are you doing here again oh my gosh it's 3d Kamek hey it's the non-paper version of Kamek that's what I said you mean the actual Kamek get it right anyway you're not getting you're not going any further yeah Okay, Kamek, we're not going any further. What's the plan, then? What am I to do with you right now? If I hit you three times, it's over for you. And don't even think about using those bomb buds on me. Meaning we should use those bomb buds on him. And thus, our quest begins. Oh my goodness, there is a bomb bud here. Where the heck were you? 
when I needed you, man. They place one conveniently next to this electric gate, and then as soon as I don't need it, they're like, hey, man, you want this bomb bud that's next to this electric gate that you need? Oh, uh, well, you just got lucky. All right, you stupid elf-looking thing. Where are you going? He moved. Kamek's actually not an elf, by the way. So nobody take me seriously with what I'm saying, because he's not an elf. It would be very weird if he was an elf. That would be very strange. I mean, he could bypass as maybe, like, a Santa helper elf, but definitely not a Hylian elf, because look at him, man. Look at him, and then look at Link. Or look at any elf, for that matter. And then look at him again. You could take the ugliest elf from Korkiri Forest, and he'll still be, like, I don't know. He'll be, like, really handsome compared to Kamek. And I don't know why I said that. Okay, Kamek's force field lowers right after he warps. I think that's your chance to get him. Okay. So now we just gotta get some bombs, and we gotta wait for the right time to attack him. Because he's gonna keep using his magic, man. Kamek, stop being a magician, dude. You suck at magic. You don't have any cool tricks. Okay, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, gosh. Ooh, sucker! What? Dude, you barely even gave me a chance to attack you there. You instantly warped. Like, he didn't even wait five seconds kind of thing. See, watch, he's gonna warp again. I'm not gonna let you come back down here. Oh, he, he asked. Okay. What? I, 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 I threw the bomb, though. I threw the bomb, dude. I threw it. I hate how he gets down there, because I can't really gauge where he's at, depth perception-wise. Okay, just chill. Why is he always coming down here, dude? Oh, my goodness. Okay, grab it again. Kamek, just work with me here, man. You want to you wanna stand back there, dude? Oh, God. That was really, really far out. Okay, can I attack you for once, please, man? Can you just let me do it? Can you make it happen? Okay, he's gonna teleport now. TP, TP, TP. Okay, give me a position. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker! Before your attack reached me! Oh, that really stings! Good, because I want it to. Next time I wish I could just blow your freaking head off. That would be nice. That would be a fun thing to watch. Kamek getting his head blown off. Okay. One last hit, I'm assuming. Otherwise, that would stink. Why would it be fair I take three hits, but Kamek doesn't? It only makes sense for all of us to take three hits. Uh, so I'm going to climb up here, and hopefully... There he is. What's up? You got a bandit on your butt. Whoa, what is he doing? He spawned multiple virgins on himself. All right, man. I'm the real deal, but can you keep track of me? I really don't care, actually. I'm just going to grab me one of these and then hopefully get you, you know? Just wish for the best, man. Okay. Uh-oh. And... Boom, sucker! You like that, Kevin? Why would he just blatantly show himself? You won't get away with this. I don't know, but it's whatever, man. Cool. You haven't seen the last of me. See you later, alligator. All right, we're done with this mission now. Notice how all of the enemies that were here have just disappeared as soon as the mission started. I guess they don't want us getting in battle here. Because then what if you die? Then that would be very awkward, dying in the middle of a quest from an enemy that had nothing to do with the quest. But there it is. The force field is gone. Oh, jeez. Kamek seems really set on blocking our way to Mount Burr. I wonder why. I hope Wiggler is also okay up ahead. Let's hurry that way and make sure. Okay. And this may, in fact, be the exit of this forest. I'm very excited. Is it the exit? Is it the exit? Of course it's not. All right. So, it looks like what we have here is a Lakitu Center Info. Info Center. And then up ahead, we have a heal block. Yay. And it looks like I see Wiggler and Kam I can't tell. Is that Wiggler and Kamek? I definitely think those are Wiggler and Kamek. Dude, I need to get away from here, man. This might, in fact, be the boss battle that you guys are talking about. So, that is going to be it, guys, for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And the next one, I hopefully will have gained a few more levels. So, don't be surprised if I'm, like, level 16 or 17 or maybe even 18 with another rank up. Uh, actually, then, yeah, be surprised because I would have invested a couple hours at least just to level them up. But, anyways, thank you for watching once again. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>